What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Turbo 07K 944 swap. The goal of this video is to get all of the intercooler piping ran and then we have to pull the engine out because we need to uh, permanently install the rear coolant flange and the oil pan before we can stab it back in for good. While the engine's out, we're actually gonna respray the engine compartment as well. I don't see anything wrong with it, but Alan is a perfectionist and I guess it makes sense to do it while it's out. So let's jump right in. I'll show you what I did as far as mounting the intercooler, uh, as well as the intercooler we're using, and then we'll start running that intercooler piping. So this is the intercooler we've got mocked up. We'll probably run this at least for a little bit. At some point, we're gonna come in and potentially make some sheet metal changes if need be to fit an even larger intercooler. But this is one we had laying around and it's a, a pretty good fit for, for what we have right now. Because this car used to be LS swapped, Alan had already taken the radiator support and cut it and basically laid it down. So he had room for the intake tube for the LS. So his radiators, you know, the tops facing forward, the intercooler, we just kind of made the same way. So this is a two and a half inch core. It's like 21 inches wide and eight inches tall. It's probably a hair small for 400 wheel horsepower, but we'll keep an eye on our IATs and figure out, uh, you know, if it needs to be upgraded and if so, by how much. The interesting part of this whole process comes with uh, the intercooler piping. And that's because of a modification Alan made to this car. You see these fancy hood pins here? Uh, Aero catch, I believe is what they're called. I really like these. I like how they're flush. Uh, you don't have those uh, pins that you have to always keep track of like my race car has. However, in order to install these like he did, he had to make some concessions under hood. Here is the actual pin itself. As you can see, he welded a piece of rod here and uh, brought it straight up from the frame rail and that's where the hood pin attaches. Pretty cool. Worked great with the LS when the intake went forward. However, now we've got the throttle body right here and it is directly in the middle of the throttle body. It would certainly be easy enough to just do away with these, but that would also require a lot of body work and refinishing of the hood. So we're trying to figure out a way to keep the hood pins in their current location and still route the intercooler piping around this. Funny thing is, Alan designed the damn kit and the intake, so I don't know why he didn't take this into account when he was designing it. Luckily, we have a plethora of tubing and bins to make this job happen. Uh, Alan actually ordered two universal kits. I have two universal kits as well, so uh, between the two of us, we've got plenty of options to try to make this work. In order to try to miss the hood pin and uh, your coolant line here off of the stock 944 reservoir, well, I'm gonna try this long sweep 90 and this three inch to two and a half inch connector. It'd be really nice if I could find like a 22 and a half degree bend right here, but this I think is gonna work. It's gonna take just a little bit of finagling with bolting the coupler on here. It's gonna be under just a tad bit of stress, but I think it's gonna work and it's certainly a lot better than having to redo these hood pins. From there, uh, luckily right beside the frame rail, there's actually an existing opening, uh, a factory opening for the 944. So I can shoot the tubing straight down there and then 90 back again and run it towards the intercooler. With one more 90 from that last pipe and then just a straight coupler right here, we're, uh, we're basically right at the intercooler. So we're gonna have to do one more small piece of tubing here and then a 90 degree elbow here. However, we need to do some fine tuning on uh, where this intercooler sits as far as center of the vehicle. So I don't wanna do those just yet. The other thing is what I'm mainly doing right now is just mocking everything up. So we're gonna try to reduce as many of those couplers as we can. Obviously it's just a, a leak point uh, as well as a failure point I've had 
had those things pop off on previous turbo cars. So we're mocking all this up and then we'll determine where we need couplers and where we don't, we'll go ahead and weld that tubing together to make it as few of possible pieces. With the driver's side pretty well buttoned up, let's go ahead and jump over to the passenger side. I need to bolt the turbo back onto the manifold and then we can run the uh, rest of the intercooler piping. I got the Garrett G25 660 bolted on there. And as I expected, this side was significantly easier. So using the two inch to two and a half inch uh, adapter elbow, 90 and then a 90 back under the frame rail, we once again spit out right by the intercooler. Uh, it'll be easy enough to make that last bend once we finally position the intercooler. So for the most part, our intercooler mock-up is done. When Alan took the car to 944 Fest this last year, he also had mocked up the intake piping for the turbo. So let's throw it on real quick. That right there, boys and girls, is a pretty good preview of what the engine compartment's gonna look like. Nice and tidy. With all that done, I'm gonna go ahead and yank this engine out so that we can start getting it prepped for final assembly. Well, that's about the end of my energy for the night. Next time you see this car, we'll be, uh, prepping that engine as well as spraying the engine bay. And then soon we'll be doing the actual assembly and getting this thing on the dyno. Can't wait to see what a little bit of boost does for this 07K, not to mention how it's gonna sound. Stay tuned for that. See you guys.